And we've got more uh, coverage of that story now in today's Media Watch. And for that, I'm joined by Simon Harding. And uh, Simon, you've been taking a look at some of the reaction online to that uh, shock decision by the Pope not to accept the disgraced Cardinal's resignation. Absolutely, Laura, and shock really is the word. People are completely outraged, it must be said, um, at the Pope's decision. The New York Times headlined on it as soon as the news broke. It says, Pope rejects resignation of French cardinal convicted of abuse cover-up. And if you go into it again, it details exactly how that happened, why it happened. Um, uh, Philippe Barbarin, who's of course accused of uh, knowingly not doing anything about paedophiles inside the Archdiocese of Lyon uh, in France. We have this Twitter user here in French who's saying that it's because he was presumed innocent, although he has actually uh, already been convicted by the courts and um, that's the reason why Barbara was refused and you can see this sentence here in French an ultime cracha au visage des victimes it's uh, loosely translated as really spitting mm. in the faces of the victims and you have here an image of shame 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 which is from the series Game of Thrones um, and not long after that big conference at the Vatican on trying to tackle the problem of child abuse, which Absolutely. is endemic and, in the Catholic Church. And people church. are seeing this really as quite a, hip, a hypocritical move and, and one that has um, no sense. In fact, this cartoon um, from a, a French um, journalist, um, cartoonist, sorry, Goubelf, Goubel, mm -hmm. sorry, he says, um, Barbara meets the Pope and the Pope is asking, so how are the children doing? Mm. So it really has this this deep um, kind of attack on society at a time where, of course, films in France are coming are coming out on this, um, accusing uh, the church in France of not doing enough. Here we have a Twitter Yeah, the user. church tried to stop that film uh, coming out, didn't they? Absolutely. While the case was still ongoing. Well, the film is coming out, though. It's yeah, the film's out, in yeah. In cinemas, so... Um, this uh, user saying, entre le pape who refused, so the Pope is refusing the resignation of Barbara. And then we had Morandais, who's another high ranking official oh, yeah, this here is in really France, shocking, yeah. in a video which is in French, so there's no sense in me showing it to you, Laura. But he's basically saying, or almost justifying sometimes, that well, it's children, justifying. that it's children who really are, are going towards priests and saying, our oh, children need affection. I've seen children kiss people on the lips. I think that's fine. And people are are actually well no that 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 isn't a fine and, and i think this literally is literally blaming children for child abuse almost almost a blaming sure i wouldn't it, that's not what he said word for word of course and of course humanist uk if the catholic church wants to end the systematic criminality then surely those who help perpetrate the sexual abuse of children must not keep their positions of power and i think that is a view that's really echoed across the board, Laura. Yeah, really shocking decision, that one. All right, let's move on to um, another story, and uh, this is the aftermath of the shooting in Christchurch uh, last Friday. 50 people killed when a, a white supremacist attacked uh, two mosques in the city. And uh, the Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern, has really been praised uh, for her leadership uh, following that atrocity, and today she said she will never say the killer's name out loud. And she's generated a lot of buzz, the uh, New Zealand Prime Minister, because it's really seen as a show of strength. In the past, of course, people have named uh, the perpetrators of these attacks, but she was very clear that she wanted not only for him not to be named, but for the victims really to be remembered, for their names to be praised uh, going forward. So the BBC, of course, headlining on this today, Big news in the morning. The BBC, who also um, drew an article which they wrote after the Florida school shooting, which says, does the media have a problem with coverage of mass shootings? Because the issue that's come out of this, Laura, is really that people are questioning, should the name of an attacker in this kind of situation be given at all? Does it really give him that false publicity? And, it, and it's a debate that's really been fueled since Jacinda Ardern made those comments. Stan Jarvis, for example saying, do not give fame to the shooter, do not remember his name or recognise his face. We must not allow notoriety to motivate those who consider such evil. Here, another user, Aaron Bieber, and I must say there is explicit language in this tweet, but it is important because it, it gives the context. It's a truly heroic response, and our own country and media needs to learn mm. lesson from this. But of course, again, it's a shout out for, I suppose, us as the media to take action and to try and change the way we do things. All right, Simon, thank you very much indeed, Simon.